naitwa Besta Mlaozi kurugenzi wa shirika ya maendeleo na haki za mtoto la Save the Children. Naomba niruhusu niendelee kuzungumza kwa Kiingereza. Save the Children is the world's largest independent organization working on children's rights. We have offices and uh, been um, in existence for over 100 years. We started our operations in Tanzania in uh, 1986 and we have been implementing programs in the areas of health and nutrition, child protection, education, child rights, uh, governance, uh, programming, and we do this uh, using a systems strengthening approach, working closely with the government of Tanzania, civil society, private sectors, and uh, children and youth themselves. This is the second year that we've been supporting uh, the Tanzania Emerging Youth Awards. Last year, more on supporting the actual awards. This year, we're not only supporting the awards themselves, but also uh, introducing and coming with the Youth Innovation Challenge in partnership with TEA. As my colleague from uh, TCRA has mentioned, um, innovation and youth go hand in hand. And we have quickly realized that um, a lot of innovation is with the youth, but sometimes they have a challenge in scaling that innovation or even having it identified. So these uh, awards who aim at recognizing and uh, awarding local organizations and youth-owned businesses uh, doing innovative programs that are making changes in youth and children's lives. The Youth Challenge, uh, Innovation Challenge will identify winners that work on climate change, child protection, adolescent sexual reproductive health rights, and technology startups that are beneficial to children and youth. The winners will be awarded uh, seed funding up to 5,000 US dollars, and there'll be multiple winners. Uh, this, this is expected to support the winners in advancing and scaling their initiatives. The winners, as well as uh, the finalists, will also be part of our youth network, and we'll be continuing to engage them throughout our strategic period and even beyond. So the partnership that uh, we are having with youth-led initiatives and organizations is our commitment to save the children in ensuring that youth, espe youths, especially those that are looking at making groundbreaking innovations, are recognized and supported and that their initiatives are sustainable. In addition, this partnership is our organization's recognition of uh, the government's efforts in ensuring that youths are empowered, motivated, responsible, and are capable of participating effectively in the social, political, and economic development of our society as per the youth policy vision. Save the Children acknowledges that youth development is at the core and a strategic area in national, economic, political, and social policies. As a key stakeholder, we will continue to support the empowerment of youth and young people through different initiatives and strategies that enhance their rights and well-being. And this is uh, just one of the many initiatives that we'll be uh, taking up. So we're therefore also calling on government, uh, youth, uh, the private sector, civil society, uh, the youth themselves um, to put in place an enabling environment that will support more youths to access essential services, employment opportunities, and relevant information. This includes investing in digital transformation, increasing and monitoring the resources allocated for youth empowerment, and strengthening uh, youth participation in decision-making spaces um, at all levels. Asante sana, mungu wa